that you shall commence. Now, congrats, Elbow. Yes. Our second battle is against a youngster named Kevin. Kevin! No, that's not the person I'm talking about. He's a newcomer to the competition like yourself. He's known for his death, as personality, and speed. You will be battling on the rock field for the challenge. Keep that in mind. Is the rock field over here? Rock? Why not? Oh, this is interesting. This is an interesting layout. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon League second round battle is all set to begin. In the red right corner is Pokemon League newcomer Kevin. And in the new in the green corner is the newcomer from Pala Town, Obo. Let the battle commence. We're not going gonna go easy on you. This battle is mine to lose. Not mine to lose, sorry. For a minute there, I was just I was just living in my own little world just being an announcer. So that, just like any master of ceremonies, you have to have a good voice. Like this! Ladies and gentlemen! And why are you charging, Electro? There's no need to charge. You're not gonna produce any Kamehameha's tonight, buddy. And down you go! You're not allowed in this orchestra. Cube ball. Yes, I will switch to Venusaur. Who is almost at level 54. Perfect the Razor Leaf. Yeah, level 55 already. Jeez. Nido Reno, yes. Go back to Pikachu. Level 58. Holy moly. That is some fierce competition, but not fierce enough, I'm afraid. What a letdown. It definitely was. But man. You have some skill, kid. I I can grant you that. Obo is defeat Kevin and will advance to the next round. Congrats, Obo. Wow. I'm already at level three. Jeez. I can't believe it. I just grabbed my pants because of it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's see what is in the third round. Pete Cap Pebble Man of Pure City, huh? Known for power and precision. Oh my god. This third round will be in the ice fields. Okay. I'm guessing that the ice one is the fifth one. Nope. This one. Aww. So I'm guessing it's the first one. Yes. Oh, please pay like Pete anytime. Assuming that he does have a pay blade. Which I'm pretty sure he does. No, I don't see anything there. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon League third round battle is ready to go. In the red corner is Pete Pebbleman of Pewter City. In the green corner is up and coming sensation. Oh whoa, let the battle begin. Why are why do you have your chest pink colored like that? That's kinda of hard to read. Anyway, any means I've worked too hard alone. No. Lose now, no more. I hate that color. Change that color, will you? Holy cow! Let me guess, you're gonna have like one hit KO moves that are just basically gonna rock my Pokemon to a... to a pebble. And you have a level 55 Graveler, wow. Still no match though, I can... You're, you're really gaining the ability you to stand up to these rock ones. I'm very proud of you and Cloyster! <laughs> oh, Cloyster. I know you I know you have a high defense, but 
believe me, I think you can play not Humble a Pulp against my Thunder Boost. I don't know the correct recording for that, but all Arcanine. Awesome. Let's not change Pokemon. Level 62. Well, that's that's impressive. I can tell you that. Unfortunately, though, round three is going to be almost at an end. Yeah, I knew it was going to be all. Sunny day won't work. I'm sorry, buddy, but your fire type moves will not be used in this battle. Unless if my Pikachu misses, which hopefully doesn't. Yes, it doesn't. Yay! You're you're pressing on, Pikachu. You're definitely moving on, world. And you are not right now in the bicentennial level. <laughs> My dreams have been shattered. Yes, I have. Obo has defeated Pete and will advance to the next round. Congrats, Obo! And on to round four we go. I can't believe I. That trainer was lucky that I got distracted by the girls and the stands cheering for me. Well, why why did you bring your cheerleader squad in the first place then? This won't stop me from becoming a Pokemon master though. Maybe you should just quit while you're ahead, Obo. If I couldn't win the Pokemon League, there's no way a loser like you can. Later, Obo. No, I think what really got you in the end, best scene, was overconfidence. I mean, you're too overconfident for your Pokemon to even, like, concentrate. Because, I mean... Do you remember what your grandpa said in the originals? That love conquers all? You may have had deaf ears for that, but believe me, that's what you should probably learn for your book. Jeanette Fisher. She's known both for her elegance and her unorthodox battle style. Those matches will take place on the grass fields. So please prepare for those conditions. Okay. So yeah, this is basically... In a way, it's like the Glitzville tournament in, in TTYD and Paper Mario, in some ways. Because, I mean, you had, to, you had to keep advancing to get the Crystal Star for that. And this is much like that. Yes! Much in the same format, anyway. Any, at any rate, that's a pretty interesting stadium. Late, uh, excuse me, Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon League fourth round battle is about to begin. In the red corner, we have Jeanette Fisher from Crimson City. And in the green corner is the trainer from the Tower of the Palette. Oh! I'm honored to do battle with you, but don't take me lightly. Oh, I won't take you lightly. <laughs> you are going to be crushed like the rest of them. And you have another hole in sprint. That's just marvelous. Level 60 Deidre. What do you want to say? Do you, do you know what I say? Triple Fire! That's right. May my violent skills conquer the power of the bee. And that, my friends, was the flight of the Bumblebee by Rimsky Porsche. Thank you very much. That was an awesome solo. Let's go. And Scyther, do you know what I'm going to do with you? Yes, that's right, you you go down. Bell spread. You bastard. And that is why why didn't you level your bell sprout up to a victory bell? I mean you could level that up by now. Go does a job nonetheless, though, against a level 70 bell sprout. Jeez. It's a difficult loss, but I'm proud of how hard my Pokemon battled. Jeez. I can't believe I'm just creaming the first five trainers here. Obo is defeated Jeanette and will advance to the next round. Congrats, Obo. Yay. Oh, oh excuse me. Hi, my name is Richie. And you have Sparky. Nice to meet you. Sorry I bumped into you, but I was just so excited from having won my fourth round match. I get a little carried away when it comes to Pokemon. You too, huh? I guess we're just a couple of Pokemaniacs. You're competing in the Pokemon League too, huh? Isn't it exciting? I really want to be a great trainer. 
Attention please, this is an emergency announcement for all participants in the Pokemon League competition. All trainers must bring their Pokemon to the front gate of the Indigo Plateau for inspection immediately. Any trainer who fails to deliver their Pokemon in a timely manner will be disqualified from the competition. Thank you and have a nice day. I guess we better hurry up and get to the Indigo Plateau entrance to get our Pokemon inspected, huh? It was nice meeting you. See you later, Obo. I like Richie. I like him from the anime. And he had a, he had a pretty good Pikachu, too. It was pretty unique. I mean, it was like... It was groomed in a fashion that I mean, made it so unique. It had just a little speck of hair that were just sticking out. It was awesome. Anyway, let's... Oh, for the love of God. Oh, hey, oh, well, these kind people from the Pokemon League were just taking our Pokemon to get them in. This is the episode. This is the episode where it takes me so fucking long just to make it back, and I almost got disqualified. What, you mean these people at Roy from Team Rocket? They have to be stopped. I'll take care of these crooks. What a hero. Go, Zippo. Go, Sparky. That's Pikachu, by the way. Take care of Team Rocket. Use flamethrower! That must be Charmander or something. Sparky, use Thunderbolt! That is? Yeah, that's Charmander. Looks like Team Rocket's blushing up again! Holy cow. Wow, you you easily took them down, hands down. Well, that takes care of Team Rocket. It's a good thing you were here. If you hadn't shown up, I'd have given all my Pokemon to those thieves. Thanks for saving me. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other. But I got to go find out who my next opponent is for the fifth round. See you, Obo. So I'm guessing that the inspection is just a red herring. Anyway, let's just face one more round before we're done for this episode. Final preliminary battle. The battle will take place in Indigo Stadium against a young turner named Richie. Oh! <laughs> his battle style is mostly standard, but his Pokemon tend to battle far beyond their means, showing the bond he shares with them. Good luck in your final preliminary round. I think I'm gonna change. I don't know. It'll be Pikachu against Pikachu. You know, I think I'm good. Let's go. Oh wait, is this this one? I forgot. It's not this one. Oh, it's... can't believe I'm so bad at this. What? Wait a minute, where? Where are we supposed to go? Oh, yeah. So, where exactly is this Indigo Stadium? I do believe it was, like, over here. I mean, I thought it was over here. What? Okay. I don't have any bows there. So, I'm guessing it's outside. I don't know where else to go. don't know where we're supposed to go here. Is it over here? What? What? It, here's the torch. Where are we supposed to go? Where the fuck are we supposed to go here, game? Supposed to go over here. Well, at least I can ride my bike. God, this is gonna take so long. I'm not gonna accomplish this in this episode. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know where exactly to go here. I'm assuming it's somewhere over here or someplace. I don't know. I don't know, though. I'm gonna find this out next time.
you guys later.